Hi, I'm Christine from Tebbit Textiles. Today I'd like to talk to you about using water soluble. Right, these are some of my 3D pieces that I'm going to show you. The first one is from a competition that I entered and the challenge was to just use one colour. So I chose green as I thought, oh, there's so many shades of green that you can use. And as you can see, I've got lots of different um, polyester sheer back, backdrops to the thread um, that you use with your water soluble. Um, there's bright greens, dark greens. I've used beads on it. Um, I've literally thrown everything that I can at this one. And um, you can do lots of lovely shaped leaves, um, flowers butterflies you've got the works there this is another piece that i did purely for myself um, i've sewn this one onto a canvas and um, and again i've used um, water soluble with shears um, i've done uh, machine thread cords um, i've got all sorts of different things going on in this one. Then this one is a smaller version. And if you can see, you can do, do what you want with them, really. You don't have to make pictures out of them. They could end up being a little brooch that you wear, um, which is a lovely idea. Um, these are, this is a picture that I've done. Um, you create it, um, and you, you need to have a, a little box, a narrow box frame for it because you've got quite, quite a depth to it. Um, but it's rather nice. You could also do cards. I've made several cards for a special occasion. You get, and you can do it. It's exactly the same technique. You just make things smaller. And whereas I've sewn these onto um, a soft background here I've sewn them onto a bit of water watercolor paper um, which is quite easy to sew through um, another variation is I've made candle holders so you put the candle in there and you do lovely clusters of the water soluble and shears around the edge and I've sewn them onto a floristry ring I've wrapped it in shears. This one I've wrapped in a Christmas ribbon because that's a Christmas version using all the reds, golds and greens. This one's a spring one using the spring colours. So you can see it's a very versatile and you can do so much with water soluble. So when I'm talking about water soluble and polyester shears, this is what I'm talking about. This is the water soluble which is called solu fleece it's really nice and tough you can draw on it no problem it it won't rip or anything this is the polyester sheer you get it in the most gorgeous colors um, it's quite inexpensive and then what i will do is that i'll lay the the sheer down first put the water soluble on top get my hoop place it on top Fix it in so it's nice, nice and torn, really, really torn in the ring. And now it's ready to go under the machine, which is what I'll do now. And I'll show you how, uh, I'll show you one of my little leaf designs and a flower. So this is me at the machine. I've got my feed dogs down. I've got my darning foot on. I've got my machine set to zero with the stitch so it's a straight stitch just a normal straight stitch my feed dogs down i will go underneath and i won't necessarily draw the picture i will just go straight ahead and i'm going to do two pieces um, one of my designs for the leaf and another one for the flower so what i do is put my foot down bring my thread up And I will, on the top I'm using um, 
a 40 weight uh, rayon um, thread, the same in the bobbin, slightly different colour because it will give a nice toned effect when you see the back and the front. So here we go. I'm going to do the leaf first. I'm going to take these off because they'll only get in the way. So I've done it once and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go round the edge for a second time exactly where I went, follow it all the way through and then stop. And now, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to change to a zigzag at the top here and it's just under two in width and you'll see how the, what I'm going to do is I'm going to close in the edges so I'm going to do it pretty slowly so that it's a nice tight satin stitch all the way around the edge move your hoop so that you're coming down all the time using that zigzag Right, now I'm going to go back up the other side, a bit quicker this time. But moving the hoop very slowly so that, that you get that lovely tight satin stitch. So that's one of my designs for a leaf. Uh, I liked because all those stitches will show through on the sheer, which you'll see what I mean in, when I've burnt them through. So. Here I go. So I'm, what I'm going to do now is just a simple little daisy shaped flower, but I'll show you how I do that. So I'll start off, oops, go back to zero so that you've got it on straight stitch. And then I'm just going to do the petals. And before I move on any further, I'm going to get rid of that, that thread. I know it's underneath, but we cut that off later. So I've done an outline. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a design again, like I've done over here, on, on the actual petals. So I'm going to put little stamens. Just to make it a little bit more interesting when you dissolve away the water soluble. Now again, I'm gonna go around the outline again so that I've got a nice double line. beginning so I'm going to go back to a zigzag just under the two width and I'm going to go 
all the way round. So I will move the hoops so that I'm facing the right way with the petals to get that nice little zigzag. Don't worry, if you miss a bit, just go back over it. It's all free machine, feed dogs down, remember. And there we have one of my leaves and one of my flowers. Lift it up, bring it out. Right, take any threads underneath your work and cut them away because they'll get in the way when you start soldering them out. And you'll see what I mean in a moment. So there it is on the back. It's on the shear, you can see it on the shear. And then that's the front. So I'm going to leave it in the hoop. And what I will do next is show you how I burn that out. So what I've got here is a craft soldering iron with a very fine tip. I've got myself um, a little piece of glass, well used as you can see. I've taped the edges so there's no sharp edges. And then what I've got is just a sheet of white paper so that it shows through. I've got my piece of work and then lay it down. And then all I'm going to do is very carefully burn it out around. Cuts through like butter. And that's it. Turn it off, lift it up, and that's what you've got. You've got two little pieces, and it's still got the, the water soluble on it, and it's got the shear on the back. And then when you've got all your work done, I've got some that I've prepared earlier got lots of here these ones are quite large because I that for the purpose of demonstration I've got some warm water here and then I have an old towel and what I'm going to do is that I'm going to drop them in. So let me drop the two that I've done, drop them in. They will sink to the bottom and it means that the water soluble is gone. So bring it out, take it over to your towel and you'll see and you'll feel that it's still very, very sticky. And it means that it's still got some of the glue in it. But can you see how it reacts? It's absorbing all the water and it's leaving you able to manipulate it so with all these little ones that I've done I will drop them in let them all sink to the bottom encourage them <laughs> and then slush it around a bit you don't want to leave it too long because you don't really want all the glue out because you want to be able to let them dry so that you can shape them so what I normally do is that I go along and I will put them all in on the towel it's quite time consuming especially if you've done a lot and I recommend that with the soldering that you just solder out 
a little hoopful at, at a time um, and you might want to use a mask because it's quite um, choky the fumes coming off of the soldering iron and the glue and the shear together so you can see and they will all dry the way I've left them and they don't take long to dry if it's a nice sunny day which it isn't today but it will dry they will be dry in an hour or two and they'll all be crinkly nice so quite organic really and there you have it they're all ready when they're dry for you to be able to sew them together i've got some here that are already dry bits of them here different colors some of the leaves i've put beads on them you can decorate them as much as you like um, and create all these lovely pictures as you can see these are exactly what i've made from them and using different colored threads um, in your bobbin and on the top and you can even use different colored shears and it just gives you such a beautiful effect all the ones that you see me burn away and put on the towel just now and the little pink flowers are all going towards this picture that i've created it's only about four inches by four inches um but it will make um it really takes quite a few of the flowers to really fill it up and i hand sew it on uh, each individually pieced and i normally dye a piece of pelmet violin for the background and i um embellish some wool rovings on top and it's a lovely background and the green you use the same sort of color to complement the flowers and the leaves that you're doing. It depends on the picture. You might want to make a seascape. Um, but this is a garden scene. And as you can see, this is ultimately what all those little green leaves and flowers will go towards making. And it will be put placed into one of those uh, little boxes, shallow, shallow boxes um, for a nice, another nice picture. I hope you've enjoyed the video today. It's certainly been fun making it. Hopefully you will join me again when I show you another variation of how I use water soluble. Thanks again for watching.